Nokia and Hyundai have long struggled to break into the sport compact space. And to be fair, it's a tough nut to crack, what with favorites of ours like the Volkswagen GTI and Ford's Fiesta ST and Focus ST clogging up the tubes. Korea's attempts to court enthusiasts thus far, including the Hyundai Veloster Turbo and the Kia Forte SX Turbo, have fallen just short of too hot hatch status largely due to the tail shortcomings such as vague steering and rubbery shift action. At first glance, the new turbocharged version of the Kia Soul seems to be playing a similar sort of game. Red exterior accent lines are evocative of the GDI's aesthetic, a flat button steering wheel suggests some degree of raciness, and larger 18-inch wheels give the boxy sole a more athletic stance. It also has a 1.6-liter turbocharged inline form making 201 horsepower and 195 pounds to foot of torque, not exactly barn burner numbers, but not shabby, either. Kia is keen to point out that the Soul is not at all a sport compact or hot hatch. Rather, it's a small crossover set up to compete with the likes of the Mazda CX-3, Chevrolet Trax, and Fiat 500X. The Soul is already the best seller in that segment, and Kia wants to keep the good times rolling. Buyers had been asking for two things, more power and all-wheel drive. With the letter proving difficult in terms of packaging and cost, Kia decided to prioritize the desire for extra grunt and make the 1.6-liter turbo engine standard for the Soul's top trim level, which is simply denoted. And pronounced exclaim, according to Kia. As when the same engine is installed in the Kia Optima and the Hyundai Tucson and Sonata, the turbocharged mill pairs only with the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. No manual transmission is offered with a turbo, and Kia's justification is the now familiar spiel about low take rates and the expensive certification process for different powertrain combinations. If you want a manual gearbox with this engine, Kia will happily steer you toward a Forte 5SX turbo hatchback with the 6-speed stick. The Soul Turbo's aforementioned sporty touches are not meant to suggest that this is a performance machine. Its basic suspension setup is the same strut front and torsion beam rear as the lesser models in the lineup, although Kia says the turbo's springs and dampers are tuned slightly differently. Its 45 series all-season tires and 18-inch wheels are the same size as the optional wheels and tires offered on the Soul Plus, or Plus, which has a 161 horsepower naturally aspirated 2.0-liter. Kia did install slightly larger, 12.0-inch diameter front brake rotors for the turbocharged model, but the 10.3-inch rear discs are the same on all soles. Without the expectation of high performance driving on its shoulders, the turbocharged soles mildly sportier demeanor hits its mark well. The 1.6-liter turbo 4 is a happy and smooth engine, with mostly linear power delivery, strong mid-range torque, and a decent sounding engine note. The dual-clutch transmission is a smooth operator as well, delivering quick shifts and minimal low-speed clunkiness of the sort that sometimes plagues these toward converter-less automatic gearboxes. Paddle shifters are notable by their absence, although the console-mounted shifter does have a manual shifting mode. We prefer driving in the sport mode, which adjusts transmission shift points and throttle response to be a bit more aggressive, the gearbox can be reluctant to downshift in normal mode, which combines with a bit of turbo lag to make for less eager attitude. Choosing sport mode also makes the steering feel a bit heavier but doesn't change the electrically assisted steering rack's lack of feedback and on-center feel. Even so, the sole's stiff structure and well-tuned damping make for a satisfying balance of ride and handling, at least on the glassy smooth pavement in Northern California where we drove the new model. Body roll is nicely controlled in corners, the all-season rubber has a reasonably high grip threshold when pushed on twisty roads, and there's a commendable lack of torque steer. While the Soul Turbo is short on the fluidity and harmoniousness of the best compact cars such as the Volkswagen Golf and the Mazda 3, the Mazda CX-3 is the only small crossover that surpasses the Soul's overall dynamic goodness, it also offers all-wheel drive, the missing element in Kia's contender.
the squared off so shames the CX-3, and nearly all other subcompact crossovers, in terms of practicality and interior space. The cabin is airy and spacious, with good sight lanes all around, an expansive rear seat with plenty of headroom, and a large cargo area that easily expands by folding the back seat flat. With the seats down, there is up to 61 cubic feet of space back there, which tops even the versatile Honda HRV. Pricing is another strong suit for the Soul Turbo, which starts at $23,500, just $1,350 more than last year's Soul. Model with the 2.0-liter naturally aspirated engine. That starting price brings a decent amount of standard kit, including push-button start and Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, even our loaded test car with a panoramic sunroof blind spot detection, navigation, and the Harman Kardon audio system topped out at a still reasonable $27,620. As with other Soul models, the interior layout is ergonomically sound, and material quality is top-notch in the sub-$30,000 arena. If you're still not convinced that the turbocharged model is the clear choice of the Soul lineup, Consider this, despite having 40 more horsepower than the 2.0-liter car and 71 more horses than the Bass 1.6-liter model, it beats both an EPA fuel economy, at 26 31sts of a mile per gallon city, highway. Kia says that the majority of Seoul customers are value-oriented people, so it makes sense that product planners expect the less expensive naturally aspirated versions to remain more popular. The Kia Soul is an attractive, practical, and well-rounded box, however oxymoronic that sounds, no matter the trim level. We could easily be upsold to the Soul Turbo. While it's not the sharp-edged hot hatch some might be hoping for from Kia, the Soul with a bit more pep in its step is fun to drive in an appealing overall package with lots of practicality baked in. And enthusiasts shouldn't worry, because we're still holding out hope for the two-door, 250-horsepower, hardcore Soul Traxster. Traxster.